Santos. This is sinkhole. The Santos Trail System is part of the much larger Cross Florida Greenway. This greenway occupies more than 7,000 acres of land spanning central Florida from the Gulf of Mexico to St. John's River. This 110 mile linear park is more than a mile long at places and has more than 300 miles of all trail types, including hiking, mountain biking, equestrian, and paved multi-use trails. Too. Okay, have fun. This is the opposite direction. Yeah. Oh boy. Who? Yeah. This is. Oh oh. Yeah, that was way was just fine too. This is John Brown. This trail is about a half mile long and has lots of steep short climbs with abrupt rocky descents. Before becoming the Cross Florida Greenway, this area was originally designated for the Cross Florida Barge Canal Project, which ultimately proved unsuccessful. Despite its challenges, this project is seeped with history. Had it been finished, the Cross Florida Barge Canal would have spanned Central Florida by linking patchwork of rivers, artificial waterways, and lakes. The possibility of crossing Florida through inland waterways was first raised in 1567. In the early days of European colonization, the journey around the Cape of Florida was considered treacherous. Pirates, dangerous currents, hurricanes, and shallow waters doomed many of ships that attempted the lengthy trip. It was hundreds of years before concrete plans for the canal took shape. In the 19th century, momentum for the canal grew. Business owners and traders supported the canal because it would make selling and shipping goods between the east coast and ports of Gulf Mexico easier. However, it was determined that the canal was a bad idea, or at least too expensive and difficult, to be worthwhile. Then again in the 1930s, Franklin Roosevelt's New Deal program brought hope for the canal project. However, New Deal funding for the canal ran out within three years, and local critics insisted that the canal would disrupt Florida's aquifer and waterways. Also, national opposition grew in response to the claims that the project was a waste of taxpayers' money, but optimism for the canal persisted. In World War II, German submarines posed a threat to the Florida's coast and shipping lanes. Following the war, during heightened tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union, Congress modified the initial sea level canal project into a lock and dam shallow draft canal along the same route. Wow. Canal supporters emphasized its role in national security, rewriting old arguments in favor. Construction wow, resumed bridge. in 1964 with President oh, Lyndon B. Johnson leading the groundbreaking ceremony. However, the canal was ultimately not to be. Environmental concerns surged in the 1960s due to books like Rachel Carlson's Silent Spring, led to strong opposition. Activist Marjorie Harris Carr, heading the Florida Defenders of the Environment, appealed to President Nixon, who halted the project in 1971. Despite ongoing legal battles and fading political support, Congress finally deauthorized the project in the 1990s. For what it's worth, I had a blast at Santos. The black trails are punchy and tighter, featuring roots and rocks, while the blue trails are more flowy with less elevation, but still tons of whipping fun. My personal favorite in the area is still the trail system right next to Santos, the Vortex. It is a bit more technical and has several fun wooden features. 
However, now that I've learned a bit more about the history, I'm eager to explore more trails along the Green Line. Thanks for watching. Until next time, revel in the ride and keep those pedals turning.